Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is my Premier League predictions for week 10. Um, a lot's happened in this week in the Premier League. Uh, you know, uh, Man United Chelsea, late goal. Um, but I want to start it off, and I hope all of you are with me when I say this, that we wish Glenn Murray a speedy recovery. I hope a better soon, Glenn. As I said, I hope all of you are with me on this. Uh, it is a nasty head injury. Um, you know, it does happen in football. Um, you know, it could have been a lot worse, but thankfully it weren't. Uh, hope to see you back on the pitch soon, Glenn. Um, and as I said, I wish you a speedy recovery. I hope all my YouTubers do too. Right, anyway, as you can tell beyond me what the first game is, it's Brighton versus Wolves. Now Brighton beat Newcastle away, um, you know, big three points for Brighton um, and Wolves lost to Watford. Um, you know, it's uh, I was expecting it, if you, went, if you looked at my Premier League predictions week 9, but on the other hand, you know, it's one of them things when Wolves get beaten at home, when I don't think their fans were expecting it whatsoever. But I predicted that one right, I believe. So now with this fixture, I'm going to call it a one-all draw. The next game is Fulham versus Bournemouth. Now Fulham lose it to Cardiff at the Cardiff City Stadium. Um, you know, it's well, it's a bit of a shock if I'm all honest. Where well, we're playing Bournemouth at the minute, who's like a runaway train, even though they drew 0 0 with Southampton this previous week. So, with this one, I'm going to go with a 2 0 Bournemouth scoreline. Uh, the next one is Liverpool versus Cardiff. Now, I've just mentioned how Cardiff got on by beating Fulham, while well, Liverpool beat Huddersfield. Now, no disrespect to Cardiff, you've done a fantastic job, but you're going up against Liverpool at Anfield. It's a very tough place to go. Trust me, I've got first hand experience there as a neutral football fan. I've been up there to see my local team play. If you don't know who it is, it is Brighton. And I've vlogged on my channel somewhere. Uh, it should be in the playlist down below on my Premier League 18 19. Uh, season, uh, it's called season, something like that. I'll have it down below if you want to go and check that vlog out. Um, so, you know, I'm going to have to go with a 3 0 Liverpool win with that one. Now, the next one is Southampton versus Newcastle. Ben, I mentioned both teams already Southampton drew with Bournemouth, um, and Newcastle lost to Brighton. Now, Newcastle are very low in confidence, you know. It's, uh, I think it's stuck in the wing out their sails a bit, especially after losing to Brighton. Um, you know, I've said it before, Brighton played Newcastle, they are so low in confidence. Uh, you know, they want their chairman out, they want, I'm not sure what they're like, Rafa Benitez at the minute. As far as I know, the players are cool with him. But the chairman, the fans ain't keeping it quiet what they want from the chairman. So with that one, I'm going to call it a draw. I'm going to give uh, Newcastle a point for this one because Southampton are in the sort, same sort of standard. And I'm going to go with a one all scoreline. The next one is Watford versus Huddersfield. Now Watford are very strong at home. I do call them the dark horses from this season. Um, you know, they have lost a bit. You know, I can see a lot of you saying they never go win a thing. You don't need to win things to be, you know, have a really good season. I mean, look at Burnley. You know, they ain't won a lot over the last 20 years. I might be wrong. I think they came up as champions from the Championship to the Premier League. But they haven't won anything since, and they still qualify for Europe this season. Unfortunately, I think, they got, I think they got knocked down the last qualifying rounds of the UEFA Cup. So, with Watford versus Huddersfield, I am going to go with a Watford win, and I'm going to go with a 2-0 scoreline. Yet again, Huddersfield are very low in confidence. 
Um, the next game is West Ham. It's Leicester versus West Ham at the King Power Stadium. Now, Leicester are having a good season, not too bad. Whereas West Ham have lost to Brighton before the international break and then lost to Tottenham. You know, as I said in that uh, last match preview for week 9, that I do think West Ham are going to drop a bit now. They're going to go to where they, need, where they deserve to be. Um, you know, a few of you might think they deserve to be higher up, a few of you might think they deserve, deserve to be lower down. Now, if you look, look to my Premier League prediction, you know how I thought the table was going to finish. So, with this one, I'm going to go with a 2 1 Leicester win. Uh, I think, you know, West Ham will get the odd one. So, that's why I went with that scoreline. The next one is Burnley versus Chelsea. Um, you know, Burnley, I've mentioned them once in this video about Europe, they didn't kick this season off too good. Um, but they started to come in their own sort of form now. Um, where well, as you've got Chelsea that, you know, have really picked up during the last few weeks. As I said, draw with United. I reckon give them another couple of years, they'd be back to title contenders. Uh, you know, I've got no shame in saying that whatsoever. Uh, you can start with United after Sir Alex Ferguson's left. United have never been the same. I know a few United fans might fight against that, but if you're truly honest, I never see really the attacking football that's where it's used to play. But anyway, back to his fixture. I'm going to go with a 2 0 Chelsea win with that one. The next one, now it is hard for me to predict this because they play Leicester tonight, it's Palace versus Arsenal. Now, Arsenal haven't played yet obviously Tom you've been watching this you I might have already played you already might know the result as I'm recording this I don't know what the result's going to be so with this one still I'll, I'll call it a turn of Arsenal win for now but if they lose tonight I do think Palace can inch, inch it it's hard for me to say this because obviously Palace are Brian's rivals um, but as I say week in week out I do this from a neutral fans point of view when I do this, I don't support any teams, but obviously I'm a Brighton fan on the football field. Um, the next game is Man United versus Everton. Now, with Man United, um, obviously as I just said, draw to Chelsea. Everton beat... Uh, uh, who did they beat? Crystal Palace. Um, sorry, I took a while to get stuck in my head there. Um, you know, two very quick goals, um, one after the other. And while I mentioned this game, Palace didn't miss a penalty. Uh, good save by Jordan Pitford. Um, but anyway, back to this fixture. Um, so I'm going to go with a 2 0 Everton win. Now, I know a lot of United fans saying that's never going to happen. I really haven't got a Scooby Doo what Jason Mourinho is doing um, with your team at the minute. Yeah, you draw with Chelsea, but on the other hand, you, come, you had to come back from two goals down uh, against Newcastle to win it 3 2. You lost to Brighton away, um, you know, and I think you, I think you beat Leicester 2 0 on the opening day. As I said, under Joe's say, you really don't know. I don't know what what he's trying to do with that team. Now the last game is probably the game of the weekend. It's Tottenham versus Man City at Wembley. Now with Tottenham, you know, we're still waiting for their new stadium, whereas Man City are kicking on with the league. Um, the Groin is back, and that's why I'm going back City to win this game. And I'm going to go with a 2 0 scoreline with that one. Anyway guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.